And finally, Crown Princess Melia's accession will take place one year from today. Until such time, as decreed by the Crown Princess, I shall assume Imperial duties as Regent. If there is anyone who objects to said decision, state your grievances now. All the ministries are unanimous. We have no objection to Her Majesty's decree. To each and every one of you, our thanks. If I may, Your Highness, I would like to propose a roundtable discussion on strategy concerning the Mekon. Ah, what to do about the Mekon? Our defenses must be shored up immediately. Not only our defenses, Your Highness. Do you suggest an offensive approach? While the capital still licks its wounds? The Ministry of Research has the ideal solution. Friends act strange. A friend sad? Ah, oh, Ricky sad too, because of empty belly. Ricky, we already ate. Us Homs don't get upset just because we're hungry. Not hungry? Oh, Hom Hom must have small bellies. Oh, Ricky jealous. Oh, we've got to get our minds off this somehow. Dumban's locked himself away ever since we came back. Hmm. Is it because of the girl who was operating that mech on? Melia. How are you? What do you mean? If you were talking about father, I'm fine. I have no choice but to look to the future. You're stronger than me, Melia. Do not mock me. More importantly, it is time you tell me who she is. We've known her all our lives. We thought she was killed in Colony 9. She didn't even recognize us. She's not the Fiora I remember. It looked a lot like Fiora. But if it was her, then I can't imagine how Dumban feels. What did he mean? Fiora is Dumban's sister. <gasps> I didn't know. Is this Fiora important to Shulk? Important? She's more than important. She's the reason we're out here. If that really was Fiora, why didn't she reply to me? Fiora. I'd better talk to Dunban. He'll know something. What a video game, man. What a video game. Welcome to part 37 of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time we went all the way up to the top of Prison Island and we powered up to the we powered up the Monado basically. I totally messed that up. But we also found out that Fiora is still alive. But she doesn't recognize us. Hold on a second. Hold on. Before we go and see Dumban, I'm actually inserting this clip after I realized that I forgot to do this. Thank God for loading a previous save file. You can actually talk to your party members and discuss the current situation with them. Talking to your party members is actually a really rare occasion, so let's see what we got. Where did Dun Dun go alone? 
Shark think he go eat by himself and no take us? That not nice. Ricky want to go too. Sure thing, buddy. They only have one thing to say. All right. Melia. Speak. Speak. Shulk, about you and Fiora. Uh, it's nothing. Anything Speak. else? Nope. Sharla. Yeah? Shulk, why don't you go out and get some air? You need some time to calm down and think. And Ryan? Yo. Shulk, don't go stretching out by yourself. Dumbben and me are there for you. That's really nice of them. Really nice. Anyway, back to me gushing about Prison Island. Can I just say that even... Even after nearly 10 years of experience this game... Even after ten, nearly 10 years... Prison Island is still very much a cosmic event to me. Like... Everything from the cutscene direction, the way the story played out, like the hype moments, Shulk powering up the Monado to this really cool Monado 2 that can now damage face and mech on normally. Like, look at this thing. Look at it. It's a three sl slot weapon now, and it's so cool looking. Like, the, the Monado 1 design is pretty cool and all, but this is just big and big beefy man it's so big <laughs> and the reveal that fiora is still alive after all this time god i've known many of streamer or let's player that literally went went what the hell to this very moment right here and i honestly couldn't be more happier about that because that was such a huge twist like, everything has now changed, basically. This went from a revenge plot, an interesting one at that, but a revenge plot nonetheless, to finding out that your best friend, who was seemingly dead at Colony 9 on your hometown, still being alive somehow. Like, I, I really can't put into words how much this event really changed my perception of how good storytelling can be in video games. And, jeez. <laughs> well, either way, Dumban is right over here. I've been looking for you. So this is where you were. Shulk. Apologies. Was everyone worried? Of course. Me especially. Hmm? It's just... I've been thinking about Fiora. And I can't help wondering... Wondering what? You saw how Fiora acted. It was like she didn't even recognize us. Yes. It's unsettling. But Shulk... Don't get me wrong, I'm not sad. Even if she doesn't recognize me, I'm glad to know she's alive. Dunban! You see, Fiora was born many years after me. And not long afterwards, we lost our father to a Mekon. It was left to me to protect and raise her, almost like a father. I was always jealous that she had you as her brother. Ah, yes. You and Fiora used to be inseparable. Yeah. I need to tell you something. I always thought if Fiora were to be with anyone, it should be you. What? But Ryan hangs out with her just as much as me. Yeah, he does. But Fiora doesn't like him in that way. Oh. I see. He's a nice guy. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. All reckless and hot-headed. Probably why he's not right for her. Listen, Shulk. Yes? A lost life can never be returned. But she's alive. 
It doesn't matter that she's lost her memory. Yeah, I guess you're right. Fiora and I have spent our entire lives together. The memory of that can't have disappeared completely. It's up to us. We have to help her remember. Help me, Shulk. Help me get her back. You know I will. Okay. Let's go tell the others. Hey, they're back. Have you gathered your thoughts? Yes. Sorry to be a nuisance. Shulk? You too? Yep. All thanks to Dumban. I'm glad. Forgive me. His Highness Callion summons you. You think something's happened? We won't know until we get there. It's also really interesting to get Dumban's thoughts on the situation because he it's like he said in the cutscene. Dumban essentially raised Fiora as a little kid. I mean, when she was little, I mean. Almost like a dad. And it's really interesting. Like, usually when these sort of things happen, it's like, yeah, you're alive, but they focus on trying to get the memory back and all that. You know, when these types of things happen in stories. But when it comes to this, it's just like... Like, Dumban, Dumban doesn't really care if if Fiora lost her memory, seemingly lost her memory. All that matters is that she's alive. I mean, obviously, we want to get her memories back, true. But we're just glad, along with Dumban, that, you know, Fiora's alive. Like, and we also feel... Like, and we also be along, and we're also along with Dumban too, because Fiora is such a great character, man. She, she's such a great character back at Colony Nine. Like, she's definitely like definitely the waifu character and everything, but, but she's definitely, she's definitely got her mo got her moments early on. Like, that attack in Colony Nine she did at Metal Face was just so cool, and just when we think that you know. Just let her think, you know, that, that, you know, she's just going to stick around. She's ripped away. It's kind of like Aerith in Final Fantasy VII, in a way. Except, you get to like her straight away from the very beginning. And it's this very reason why she's the reason why we're even here in the first place. I just think that's really interesting to think about when it comes to stories like these, where Xenoblade can take things in a different direction. I apologize for calling you at short notice. It's fine. Is anything wrong? I must apologize to you all. Forgive our hubris. <laughs> we High Entia were arrogant enough to idly sit behind our defenses, safe in the knowledge that Mekonis lies a great distance from our land, and we were wrong. Our decision to ignore the Mekon assault on your homeland was wrong. Your Highness, does this mean...? Yes, Shulk. We will face the dangers ahead together. Brother! Which leads me to my request. After setting eyes on a group consisting of Homs, Nopon, and Hyentia alike, I realized an allied army must be formed. I ask that you act as ambassadors for the assembly of this force. Tell me your thoughts, Shulk. I need time before I make a decision. Does Shulk not wish to aid us in our mission? I do not believe that to be true. Then why? Shulk has... other people to consider.
That wasn't like you, Shulk. I'm sorry. You know you can talk to me. It's Fiora. That's why you're hesitating. Yeah. Knew it. You wouldn't think twice otherwise. I... I just don't know. Find her, Shulk. Melia, I... I used to believe my father did not love me. Until the day he died. Oh. If you do not grasp the importance of loved ones until after they are gone, that is simply too late. You're right, Melia. I've made up my mind. I'm going to get Fiora back. You don't have to do this. I'll go and look for her myself. The burden should be mine. No. I want her back as much as you. Leave the ambassador stuff to me, Shulk. I'll probably make a mess of it. But we're a team. You can count on me. I'm afraid that is my duty, Ryan. I am of both High Entia and Hom's blood. I am the Crown Princess, and of mixed heritage. Thus, I am best suited to carry out this task. That means we won't... Yes. I will remain here. We must say goodbye. Is that what you really want? Yes. But promise me, when you find her, you'll come back. I'll be here waiting for you. I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's probably a good idea if I go and tell Kallion myself. I am sure he already understands. Besides, it's likely that the ministers are harassing him at this present moment. We should spare him any further inconvenience. Then... this is goodbye. Yes. Come back as soon as you can. We are in great need of your help. Got it. Listen, I'll keep an eye on Shulk for you. <sighs> Whatever can you mean? Well, it's a risky strategy, letting Shulk go off and just hoping he'll come back to you. Shulk and I are merely... Yeah, yeah. But remember, the longer he's away, the more chance his feelings for you will fade. But... Once we find this Fiora, I will personally whisk him back here in a heartbeat. <laughs> Don't give up! <sighs> I... Appreciate it. Great. Don't worry, Melia. I'm on your side. Brother? Just on your way out, I see. It's not what... I'm sorry, Your Highness. About your offer. We must... humbly decline. I... See? Very well. Let us hope my sister does not shed too many tears. I stay because I must, brother. There's two Millias. Rhyme wrong. This Melly smell different. Yes. We need Melia to learn more of the lands of Bionis. But she is still bound to handle public matters. Hence, another Melia. Callion. Your Highness, Crown Princess. As your humble subject, I formally request the following. Speak. I request that you accompany Shulk in his quest to find the Mekon that attacked Alchemoth. Are you sure? Shulk. I am aware of everything. Go forth and follow your heart. There will come a day when we need you. But it is not today. Your Highness, that means a lot to me. That is one cool prince. If only someone had his sensitivity. Sensitivity? Well, I, I, I'm sensitive. 
Hmm, the jury's out on that one. That's a relief. We have recently received a report that the silver-faced Mekon fled to Galahad Fortress, the Mekon stronghold at Sword Valley. It will be a treacherous path. My sister is in your hands. Thank you, Kallian. I will keep her safe. Regent, I accept your request. I will return victorious with Shulk. I am most pleased. Leaving without me? Do you want to come? To reach Galahad Fortress, you will need to travel through Valak Mountain on the right arm of the Bionis. The snow-covered mountains are fraught with danger. Those unfamiliar to them risk never coming back. Of course, you would be familiar with that region. Then there's no point in wasting time. Leave the Allied Force to me. I am not known for my diplomacy, but call it pride. I shall succeed. We'll join you as soon as we can. I look forward to the day. Heroes of Bionis, make us proud. You see? Now we're getting some respect. We're back to this again, are we? See you soon, Kallian. Alright, we got ourselves a new destination in mind. Alright. So, let us head down to the place where we need to be. And honestly, I really gotta admit, like, during the scene when uh, Shulk and uh, Dumben were talking, like, honestly, I kind of like the, I kind of like the way that Alchemoth is during, at nighttime during the rain, like, it feels unlike any other place, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know how that is, but, yeah. Anyway, for whatever reason, Skip Traveling's disabled. Like, we're not in any, like, danger or anything. It's just like, why is it disabled? I have no idea. We will need to traverse Sword Valley if we wish to reach Galahad Fortress. If Colony 6 were in better shape, we could have taken a pod from there. How are we getting there? We will take the path down from the Bionis right arm. Sword Valley is where the arm meets the Mekonis sword. Aha. So that's our route. As I said earlier, it is a snow-covered mountain range, and you should expect a tough climb. Are we all ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Quite. First, we will head through Magna Forest. This short-range pod will be our transport. All aboard, people. All aboard. All aboard for the forest. Yes, we shall be all aboard for the forest. Now, don't you worry, because we're going to take this pod to Magna Forest. However, we're not going to go to Valak Mountain just yet, because, yeah. well, obviously, we need, to we need to prepare ourselves for Valak Mountain. So, why don't we just go to Magna Forest, get the pod there, and see what we can do. Again, we're not going to Valak Mountain... We're not going to Valak Mountain yet. We aren't just going to go straight over to Valak Mountain, despite the story getting picked up further and further and further. Because now that we got, like, the heavy nuclear bomb, that is Fiora still, al still being alive. Uh, we can discover the pod landing site. And, yep. There it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Okay, so first off, we're going to go over here 
to this little place. I believe this is a skip travel. Actually, no, it isn't. Well, it is an op on researcher over here, but I don't really want to take care of any sort of crest there just yet because, well, there's an extremely large, like, elephant in the room right here. And that elephant is freaking not being able to explore Earth Sea, despite the fact that, you know, it's such a big area. There was just so much story going on. So, yep, that's 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 our thing. That's going to be our thing for a little while. So, now that now that the events of Prison Island have come to a close, side quests are now going to be a lot more important than ever before. And we're going to be taking our big, big steps into completing various side quest chains and just doing a lot of just doing a lot of quests in general. And also, we're just going to just go all around the world trying to clear up as many side quests as we possibly can, including doing all the rest of those generic quests in Alchemoth and Eret Sea. Uh, and finally, we're also going to take care of, I believe at this point, we can get level we can get up to level two in uh, colony six too so we're just gonna take care of that as we go along in our little journey around the world of Viana, shall we yes indeed okay so temptuous ed so we need this little dude for a monster quest which we now done or rather, a challenge quest, rather. How do you like that? And no, I'm not turning on expert mode again, because I purely did expert mode for our last uh, side quest run. Purely for the demonstrational purposes. And, yeah, if you want to do that, go right ahead. I'm not going to do that. Because I like playing Xenoblade the classic way. Expert mode is definitely more interesting, yes. And very, pretty much just exactly like Xenoblade 2, if you ever played that game. But, you know, I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that at all. Okay, so, that all said, uh, ooh, someone got a new art. Oh, did, did Melia get Starlight Kick? Yes, she did. She got Starlight Kick. Uh, so, what you're about to see right here before we move on with our next topic is uh, the best topple in the entire game. <laughs> yeah, the best topple right here is uh, Starlight Kick. Obviously, we need enemies to test it on that are susceptible to all toppling. And yeah, let's just go to Latiel's shore to see to see the uh, topple in action right here. Okay, Melius' new art is called Starlight Kick. This is without a doubt one of the one of if not the best topple in the entire game because after using Spear Break, you can use. Starlight Kick to force Topple onto an enemy. So, Melia just got 100 times cooler. She she just got one. She just got up like a million times cooler because she can now force Topple onto enemies. Like, since when did she have like an art combination that forces Topple? Apparently, like, all of her life, she just needed to be at a certain level in order to do so. Like, wow. Again, best topple in the... Best topple, if not one of the best topples. So, that's that's just really, really outstanding. Really, really outstanding. All right. Um, let's see... All right, the next topic with uh, Shulk. So, 
since upgrading to the Monado 2, we now have the ability to damage faced mech on, like I said. Um, if we go over to the tutorials here, the Monado Unbound, basically. The Monado can now inflict damage on Mechon with faces too. And more <clears throat> and furthermore, Monado Arts can now be leveled up to level 10. And in addition to that, Monado Enchant can now be used to to make the other allies damage face Mechon normally too. So that is a Mazinga. So now we're going to be so Basically, expect to deal with tougher uh, Talon Arts now than ever before. So, we're going to upgrade to level 5 shield so that we can uh, block Talon Arts up to level 5. And, yeah. That's going to be very, very good for us. Very good indeed. Oh, wait a minute. I, I just realized something, actually. Uh, before we go on to our, like... M before we get to our other topic, a.k.a. probably our last topic for today. Uh, something that I actually didn't realize. Like, probably the reason why Dumbat has so much AP saved up is because I probably didn't get any art books for him. Because we were, like, really low on money from that. So, I'm just gonna buy, like, all of these... For Dunban, since we're going to be facing tougher battles, obviously, and Dunban needs to be at his very best that he possibly can be, am I right? So we're going to level up Gale Slash and that. We're going to upgrade Soaring Tempest, since that's a really good art for him to use. We're going to do the Steel Strike, uh, Spirit Breath, obviously, since that's a really good aura. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just level up that Gale Slash one more time. Um, as for Melia, we can grant her the power of Summon Flare level ups. Uh, we can do Starlight Kick. And we can also do Mind Blast too. Can't forget about that. Hammer Beat and uh, Bone Upper. For Shalala. Uh, we can uh, heal blast, and for Rocco, uh, freezeinate. Since that's a really fast cooldown time anyway, and we can also level up Roly Poly. Why not? And I believe that's it. All right, cool beans, cool beans. And finally, for our last thing for today, you think Prison Island is a story-only location? Absolutely not. Even though there's really nothing to do here at Prison Island, you can actually still skip travel over to there, and you can actually view the glorious, glorious views of Prison Island as you so very well please without it being all rainy, because it's always rainy at Prison Island. So you can basically admire the good old architecture. You can admire the place where Zanza was imprisoned. You can admire the huge horn of the Bionis. With the Makonis just stare, standing there menacingly. Or rather being kneeled menacingly. And you can basically see Eretz Sea from way down there. Except it's all like low poly. Except one of them, one of them islands is like very low poly, like, wow. Like extremely low poly. I can't imagine what that would be like. Uh, let's see if there's still any enemies here to take care of. Yep, there are. You can basically fight these enemies as much as you want, but I ain't doing that. There's no way I'm going to be, you know, subjecting myself to torture. I'm really not going to do that. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're basically going to be staying in Eretz Sea for a little while. And Alchemoth as well. Because we still got things to do here. We still have all of those generic quests to do. We still have some... Uh, we 
We still have some NPCs that need help with problems. And, yeah. It's going to be an interesting time. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, it is time for our big round of side quests. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.